I learned a lot though and just have experienced things that people at my age do not even know how to handle. Does Kylie Jenner really hate Kanye West? The rumor has it that the youngest sister of the Kardashian-Jenner clan can't stand her now former brother-in-law, and those speculations are not completely groundless. This is the Glamorous Channel. Kanye and Kylie have a history of misunderstanding via social media platforms, and to get to the point of it, let's take a closer look at their problematic relationship. Stay tuned to know all the details. Kanye entered the powerful family in 2012 when he began dating Kim Kardashian. Back in the day, it seemed like the Kardashian Jenners accepted him with no tension. But why would Kanye West be crying out loud for all of these years? Well, probably it wasn't as good as it seems. Moreover, it looks like Kylie never shared her family's sympathy for the hip hop megastar whatsoever. Many fans of Keeping Up with the Kardashians are convinced that the disagreement between the two began in early 2016 with Kylie signing a contract with Puma. As you might know, Kanye developed his widely successful brand Yeezy within the Adidas company, which has been competing with Puma and other sportswear brands for many years. As part of the reality show, it was filmed that Yeet literally flipped out when he discovered that Kylie signed a deal with a rival brand. And once again, he took to Twitter saying, Puma, we are going to give you your measly million dollars back. Never try to divide the family. And he continued, 1000% there will never be a Kylie Puma anything. 1000% Kylie is on Yeezy's team. Some fans sided with Kanye, saying by that moment, Kylie has already participated in more than one Yeezy fashion show and this whole situation is a conflict of interest. Another reason for hostility towards each other might be the fact that through all these years, Kylie has been called a younger version of Kim and that she got all the plastic surgeries only to look like her older sister. Well, it seems like Kanye feels the same way. In 2017, when Kylie was dating Tyga, two rappers collaborated to record a song named Feel Me, and the video for this track was leaked. The content of this clip shocked the public as it looked like Kanye was trying to expose the makeup mogul's rise to fame. The video shows Kylie emerging from between Kim's legs as though she is literally giving birth to her younger sister. Even though the Feel Me music video was never officially released, millions of the Kardashian West fans were convinced that Kanye was and is thinking that Kylie owes her success to his wife. The other person who got between these two extremely influential people is Kylie's former boyfriend and Stormy's baby daddy. Travis Scott. In 2018, for his headline track Sicko Mode, Travis collaborated with Drake, with whom Kanye had been feuding for for a long time. The situation became even more proactive when Travis shared an IG story posing with a Nike sock on his chest. The fans were quick to spark a rumor that Travis was taking a shot at Kanye by referencing the line Checks Over Stripes of the Sicko Mode song. FYI, Travis and Drake both have deals with Nike, another Adidas rival brand, so the public speculated that Travis was throwing shade at Kanye and just being petty. Kylie then decided she had to say something to defend her boyfriend and tweeted, He's not being petty. This is a sweatshirt design. The sock is part of the design. Everyone is good, moved on, living life. For anyone who wasn't aware, Travis had a deal with Nike and still does. It's all been talked out. It's only positive energy. It has also been rumored that Kanye had a problem with the way Kylie exploited her surgically enhanced looks to get to the point of being called the youngest self-made billionaire. The fans think that Kanye was always bothered with Kim posing for Playboy, and now he is convinced that both Kylie and Kim were persuaded to do it by Kris Jenner. During his July 2020 Twitter meltdown, the rapper shared the photo of his four children, saying West children will never do Playboy. As expected, Kylie unfollowed Kanye in January 2021, and a couple of days ago, for the first time ever, she decided to set the record straight about their relationship. Kanye recently hosted a listening party to promote his upcoming album, Donda. And while Kim and Chloe were in attendance, Kylie decided to stay at home to watch Twilight. She also made it clear how little she cares about its performance. While watching the Twilight saga, she shared an IG story and wrote, couldn't be happier, as a caption. Of course, the fans took it as a message that she doesn't want to associate herself with Kanye West anymore. Thanks for staying till the end of this video. If you want to know even more crazy info about your favorite celebrities, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.